I, I want to point out at the end there how Northern Gaming just really slowed down th the the pace of the game and kept it on the ground, driving no faster than 10 kilometers an hour at any given time there, and still maintain possession. <laughs> and I'm, I'm really thinking, what does Copenhagen Flames have to do to even break that up? Just play a little bit faster, try and actually adapt towards what Northern Gaming are doing. It's the reason why they struggle a little bit more in that game three every single time we see them play. It's because teams start to adapt to them, but it's always too late, especially in this league. Because if you've already lost those first two, you're already riding on a tightrope. So it's going to be interesting to see the adaptations that come through from Copenhagen Flames throughout this series. Because honestly, they need to be quick. Well, Saxon almost quick enough there to beat Devo. Just a little bit off from the net. Saxon trying again. Drops it in front of the net. Someone needs to be there. Fake. Backing off. No one waffles there. A demo. Relieves some pressure. Shot on net. Devo keeps that one away. Copenhagen Flames putting the pressure on here. I like to see this, but they are going to give a chance now for Northern Gaming. Run that back down towards their end, but not for too long. That was short-lived. <clears throat> Big trying to get that one out to Saxon. They're all committed way too hard. <clears throat> that will be a shot on net by Devo. That, I mean, it's incredible how Devo could do something like that, and we just sound calm when it happens these days. Maestro launches that long. Only two <laughs> touches true. required, and the rotation from Copenhagen Flames was completely gone they've pretty much given up that one goal lead by themselves and it was unnecessary yeah i'm gonna have to say there's some copenhagen shame on that one certainly was just walk down the streets don't look at anyone just it wasn't good i don't know how am i supposed to react to that lee <laughs> <laughs> just, just say it and then leave a pause just like yeah yeah cast now <laughs> go on shogun <laughs> let's see what you can do I'm just getting you ready. <laughs> Maestro on target. What a bump. Beautiful bump taking. I think that was Bake in net there. Or maybe it was... No, it was, sorry. It was Saxon. Just completely out of the play. Boom. Yeah. Devo Boom. comes in. And he goes to Copenhagen Mame. Wow. Nice. Well done. Defender is taken away from that one. Yeah, you see, I make the pun and I continue. I give you something to work on afterwards. Rather than just go, hey, Copenhagen Mame. Yeah, well, I'm not yeah. as nice as you. <laughs> You've ruined this, casting. This is real. a battle. Rocket League is done. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's watch the game. Maestro will set one up, trying to extend the lead. Two goals up now. In case you're paying attention to the game, another incredible puns. Two minutes have passed by. Still time for CPH to pull some goals out, but they are holding up a little bit better. We don't see an impressive lead so far coming out from northern gaming almost there though remco tries to extend it um so cph is doing something right now they have spread out a bit more they're watching these touches come out from northern gaming and they're reacting to those touches instead of trying to just follow the ball what a oh, passing play but no. waffle i think it's stuck down by saxon's car and can't get up for the shot what an unfortunate series of events there yeah that was a lovely little bit of play no one from northern gaming actually expected him to be just sat right behind their final player. And it was right there, but unfortunately just jumped straight into it, got jumped on top of. And that is going to lose the possession for them as they are still 2-0 down. Big trying to get to Saxon. Saxon Waffle will take that one instead. Saxon playing very patiently. We talked about him being the roller coaster right now, and he seems to be pretty on for his team, CPH. Definitely right call having him at this point, at least in this game. Hopefully he can continue on that consistency. Keep playing well throughout the series. Two goals are still doable with two minutes left. Against Northern Gaming, though, does increase Ram the difficulty isn't moving. a little bit. Oh, oh, now he is. That's He was just so confident in his team for the goal there. Well, it, it turns out to be founded because they have not conceded. Although this can be Saxon 1-1 one -on -one against Devo. Almost puts that one in front of the net. Bake, drop down to his teammate Waffle. Couldn't get there in time. Speed on offense is a little bit lacking. Right now from CPH, Saxon playing the patient game, finds the open net. You don't need speed on offense when you got a long shot like that. And we talked about it, Saxon just playing patiently now, playing the smart game. I'm, yeah, Diva is gonna call it out before I can. Um, the main question is, what was that? And why did you try to do it? towards Devo. 
on that one. Just attempted the pass, didn't end up getting any sort of contact onto it. And that ends up being 2-1. And it's just that thing of Northern Gaming have let up the pressure just a tiny bit, going for plays that they wouldn't normally do it. But it immediately, as soon as they see that just potential for them to lose the game, they just turn it back on again and go back for their regular style of play. Yeah, and, and we talk about, I, I guess, the savagery, I guess, in, in EU, and they're talking about how NA needs to really step up on telling each other what to do, and, and you see Devo do that in-game, just calling out his teammates for their mistakes. And, uh, you he know, it, himself out his mistakes. Yeah, it's true. Um, earlier on, we see him call his teammates, and, and now, yeah, I mean, it's got to have that, and I think that's why Northern Gaming is working so well as a team, is they're like, all right, we messed up, let's, uh, let's correct this, but... TPH putting the pressure on right now. There could be a chance for Big if he puts it to the far side. Can't quite get it in there. Doing a very good job of putting that pressure on now in the blocks. They do need to get one more goal, though, as they are down one. Flip to the side. This could be a chance for Big if he can get control of this. Maestro trying to kill out that passing play chance right now. And there's Saxon with control. What did we just and see? Wait, that oh, was Maestro really weird. changed teams. That's why. What? Yeah. <laughs> Uh, he's not moving though, so he's removed himself from the play, so I'd say that that wasn't like an illegal thing to do or whatever. Basically what happened is Maestro uh, went into Team Select, changed it over, and put himself back onto Northern Gaming. However, when he dropped back down, he immediately stopped playing. He didn't move away, put his team into a 3v2 scenario, so I don't see too many issues of that. Just don't bloody do it again, Maestro. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Was I him that started the match earlier before two? Come on. Or maybe that was Remco. That was Remco. Remco. Northern the, Gaming, the, man. The, the, the thing's going to their head. It really is. <laughs> we, need to, uh, we need to bring them down a little bit. Me and you, buddy. Me and you. We'll go and get... Uh, who's the other good RLCS player? Wave Punk. <laughs> we'll wow. take him on. Wow, we even got a laugh from you regarding Wave Punk's skill. Oh, that's a bit nasty. I, I, you're the one that said it. <laughs> yeah, you're the one that laughed, though. You could have you could have turned this into a oh we're gonna we're gonna save wave punk sort of thing but you didn't do it did you? I was probably more laughing at you having me on the team. Honestly, yeah, I was trying to pick the worst possible players. <laughs> Thanks. I can't make a clone of free Gibbs though, so.